let us start with syndromes A to Z. So starting with syndromes, especially starting with A, the first syndrome is this beautiful syndrome Alport. Alport syndrome, just remember, let us go by the words only, by the alphabet. So A, A, if you make it nicely, you can get four things out of it. Four, Alport type 4 collagen. It, we give ACE inhibitors in it. Why? So that we can improve the damage. In this type 4 collagen is affected. It is if you extend it, if you ex really extend the 4, you can make H. So it is hereditary. From 4, you can do X also. So it is X linked. X linked man, it is more than woman. Hereditary. And which hereditary X linked? So beta X linked recessive dominant is more common. Otherwise, it can be autosomal dominant recessive anything. It is the most common hereditary nephritis. Right. Next beta L. L is lens related defect lenticonus. Anterior portion is more affected than the posterior. If I really make P and I reverse it, P looks like ear. So we also have sensory neural hearing loss in this. Then O say we can make a basket. So here we see a basket weave appearance in the electron microscopy. And this is the gold standard. So what is the gold standard diagnosis? The electron microscopy wherein we are seeing the thinning and splitting of the glomerular membrane, basement membrane. With R, we have renal problems and with T, the transplantation, kidney transplantation is the only solution. Right, beta? So, Alport, remember four, remember four things. Remember L, say lenticonus, O, P, say you ear, you know, reverse it, it becomes ear. O, say basket, so basket weave appearance in electron microscopy. So, this is very important, Alport syndrome from kidney. From A, please remember fetal alcoholic syndrome. Right. What is it? In this you are going to get there is a mother who has been taking six drinks per day and she has not restricted the alcohol drink. Neither has she stopped. What is going to be the problem in the child? It is going to be fetal alcohol syndrome. Characteristic Q word or buzzword is smooth philtrum. Small eyes, mental retardation, hyperactive child later on, poor coordination learning, language learning disability, speech delay, all of this can occur. But in the question, you are going to get see mental retardation with face abnormalities and in face abnormalities, if you get smooth philtrum, then it is fetal alcoholic syndrome. Right, the fetal is smooth. We do not have any demarcations like you have in you and me. Right, everyone? Then is allergel syndrome. What is the syndrome in this? There is hepatoarterial syndromes. So, liver is involved. We are seeing cholestatic jaundice, coactation of aorta. We are seeing the triangular faces. And on the x ray, we are seeing a characteristic butterfly. Next. Next, this is a myeloonico hypohydrotic syndrome. The name only says tooth, nail and something to do with hydrosis, matlab sweating. So, in this, tooth, nail abnormalities are there and reduced sweating ability is there. Clinical features may hypocalcified and hypoplastic enamel will be there. Onycholysis is there. Onycholysis means it is removal of the nails. Right, The, the nails get uh, separated themselves and hypohydrosis. So beta this all if you find in a syndrome it is amylo onyco hypohydrotic syndrome. Then Engelmann syndrome. This is known as happy puppet syndrome. Here only beta, I want to write one, one more syndrome, which is a syndrome in which the person becomes very friendly. That is William syndrome. Right. So, please remember puppet syndrome, happy puppet and friendly syndrome, they are different. Happy puppet is Angleman syndrome. In this protruding trunk, nebular prognathism, macrostomia, Teeth are widely placed, spasticity and myotonic dystrophy is there. 
see beta you see this picture this is the most common picture which is going to come so happy puppet face no expression right teeth are widely spaced protruding tongue is there there is you know wide gait wide stance position of the arms right next aortic arch syndrome not much important but this is also known as subclavian artery occlusion syndrome or subclavian steel syndrome or carotid artery occlusion syndrome see aortic arch syndrome is a group of signs and symptoms which may be associated with structural problem in arteries or of the branches right aortic arch syndrome problems are usually associated with trauma blood clots or malformations that develop before the birth right next what are the clinical features see either congenital absence of a branch of aorta isolation of the subclavian arteries and vascular rings see this this is normal this is the vascular rings that's it next apert syndrome this we have done very nicely so apert syndrome we all know it is a type of craniosynostosis and we also know triangular face defect is seen syndactyly high arched palate mandibular prognathism please remember all of this beta for apert syndrome krausen syndrome please see my video on the youtube there you will be able to differentiate between the three types of craniosynostosis right there you'll be able to see the difference so in a purse syndrome we get mitten hands right so this is very 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 cute finding mitten hands next askers syndrome also known as laffer asker syndrome it is a very rare disorder we have blepharochalasis double upper lip double upper lip and youth thyroid goiter so bulky upper lip right